Back in the late 70s to late 80s, when Blondie was famous and Madonna was up and coming, people were doing poppers and sniffing cocaine while disco dancing at Studio 54. Greenwich Village was hopping with creativity. There was an off-off Broadway theater on Bank Street called Westbeth Theater. Phil Stein, a comic who frequently performed there, put together a new show and needed some scene filler while he changed costumes backstage. Four actresses who sang auditioned and got the parts, Natalie Blossom, Julie Janney, Patty Katz, and Teresa Elwert. They were called the Steinettes. After the show closed, they went their separate ways back to pounding the pavements. Several months later, the theater asked the Steinettes to return for a benefit performance. Teresa had already been cast for a season of summer stock, so Julie recommended her college roommate, Diane Schaefer, as a replacement. Since Diane had no experience doing the act before a live audience, the Steinets decided to break her in by singing under the arch in Washington Square Park. We put out a hat, the rest is history. Performing on our favorite stomping grounds in the village was always an event. Though we were infamous on Bleecker Street and Washington Square, we really made our mark singing at Sheridan Square and finally Soho on the corner of Prince and West Broadway. On weekends, we often caused traffic jams from the crowds of people gathered to see the show. Coins and bills flew into our plastic pumpkin, which was our hat, and four girls, some still in college, it was a great way to make some extra money. We soon started finding business cards amidst the cash in the pumpkin. Come perform at this party or that club, and we received cards from agents and managers. One Sunday afternoon, Robert Altman's publicist, Bridget Terry, saw us perform. She told Bob about us and he asked us to audition, which we did in the living room of his office on Central Park South. With the football game on in the background, we did our act for the director of such classics as MASH, Nashville, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, Gosford Park, and he circled us, making camera lenses with his hands. He probably just wanted a good look at our butts. He then asked, would you girls like to give up your jobs cutting bagels and come do a movie with me? You'll write the music to health with Alan Nichols and perform throughout the film? Well, I remember kind of jokingly saying, well, Bob, I'm not so sure about that. But we all screamed and we said yes. And though health starred Carol Burnett and Laura Bacall, Glenda Jackson, and James Gardner, it was given a limited distribution. We went on to play Olive Oil's Best Friends in Popeye with Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall. We toured parts of the U.S. and Canada. We were constantly being discovered. And Calvin Trillin wrote a New Yorker piece called Discovering the Steinettes. That was sublime. It was a remarkable time. We signed major TV record and Broadway deals, none of which ever made it to fruition. A well-known record producer described us as the Andrews Sisters on Acid. And the great British actress Glenda Jackson once said, never perform next to an animal, baby, or the Steinets. The best part of this story is that the girls and I truly loved working together. We always worked hard, were easy to get along with, and were wholesome during a time when drugs were rampant in the industry. And our only vice was eating too many M&Ms and Coke came in a bottle, not on a spoon. Now, so many years later, we're still extremely close. We became blood sisters in our hotel room while touring in Toronto so many years ago, and we never lost our bond with each other. In our hearts, we will always be Steinettes. The video you're about to see was filmed by Ken Wiederhorn, a well-known director, and it was at the beginning of all of our careers. One, two, three. Down in the valley where the green grass grows, there sat Natalie, sweet as a rose. She sang, she sang, she sang so sweet, and along came Patty and kissed her on the cheek. Down in the valley where the green grass grows, there sat Diane, sweet as a rose. She sang, she sang, she sang so sweet, and along came Julie and kissed her on the cheek. Ooh, ooh, wicky wacky, ooh, ooh, wicky wacky, ooh, ooh, wicky wacky, eat your knees, so she, oh, oh, to be home in blue Hawaii. Wiki 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 wiki
wacky, 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 And a friend of ours called us up and asked us to be in the show with this comedian named Phil Stein, and we were called the Steinettes, and the name stuck. Yeah. <laughs> like a glue. No, but when the show was over, we, uh, we liked performing together so much that we didn't know where to perform, so we decided to take it out on the streets just to see how it worked out. And, and then uh, every, for the next couple of months, people would discover us at least three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. They would see us on the streets and they would say, wow, you, you guys are really great. You should be in films or TV or clubs, which we agree with. But uh, <laughs> by the end of the next week, we'd be back on the streets again, which is just where we wanted to be. Yeah. Esther oh, Esther Esther, we love you. Esther oh, Esther you help the sunshine through. Staying on the street, I feel, is a very, it's really a pure form of entertainment because the audience is there because they want to be, because they could walk away any time. But they stay because they want to stay. They don't have a ticket. We are the Steinets, mighty, mighty Steinets, and the people It just recalls old times. We sing a song like maybe Angel of the Morning on my boyfriend's back, and they say, Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember that one, yeah. Like that.
change your mind about me. The name of this song is Daddy. I want a diamond ring, bracelets, everything. Daddy, you ought to get the best for me. Now, everybody's talking about the don't go. Everybody's talking about the don't go. He's sweet, he's fine, he makes me look fine. I love him so, can't ever let him go. So in love, I'll be walking. 